Hello everyone, how is it going? So today we're going to look into American Sign Language Detection using YOLO, V5, Python, and OpenCV. This is a very simple application, very easy, and then we just want to make a quick video out of it. So let's go ahead and see how we can do this. So the first step is to go into this RoboFlow website, and they were kind enough to open source not just the data sets, but also the annotations involved with it. So we have this data set right here, which says American Sign Language Letters data set. So just go ahead and open this. So it has the, these images, these set of images, those have these bounding box on it already for training purposes. So you can take these images, you can take the information of where the, the annotations are, and then use those bounding box annotations in order to train uh, our own detector. So it's, it's a very useful and handy tool. You can simply go ahead and just press, you know, download over here. And there is this format, YOLO v5 PyTorch format. And if you press and show download code and you press continue, it'll give you the, it'll give you three types of options. Choose the first option, which gives you the link for running it on a Jupyter notebook. And that is, I mean, uh, Colab is nothing but a Jupyter notebook in itself. But uh, you're going to be copying that link, which is the Jupyter link from here, and then take that and come back to our code. And uh, this is a Colab file, which whose link will be in the description for you to use. And right on the top, I believe it's the second, third line right here, where it says, uh, so after this green color subscribe image, you have this part where it says paste the link. This whole thing can be repeat, replaced with what you get from the RoboFlow website from this thing. So that, that's, that's basically, it's different for everyone based upon what kind of an account you have with them. So just copy and paste them and it'll take care of it for you. And it'll download all these images for us. So right from the beginning, so if you start running from here, uh, this is basically based on the Yolo V5 Ultralytics, uh, the, the main source of the Yolo V5, uh, the person who made the Yolo V5 library. Now you're just running this and it installs all the requirements, all the dependencies that are needed for this. And uh, we are also downloading the image for in order for us to display it here in the browser for ourselves. And uh, this step is, uh, we just went over it. So you're basically downloading the whole data set, which is already there. And it has all this labeled information of where the annotations are. So we have this, and then we come down and we change our configuration file. So this data.yml file, uh, this uh, gives the information where our training data set is and where our validation data set is. So you, you're, you're breaking down the data set into two, where one is the training and one is the validation. And it shows here the different types of uh, detectors. So you have, it's basically saying that you have letters from A to Z. And so it has about 26 classes. And these 26 classes is what we are interested in, in training. Now coming down here and this data.yaml file, this is something which we will be creating. This is a custom data yaml file. So this is basically the configuration, the model configuration. It describes the network layer. The, what are the different convolution network layers? What are the different, uh, basically the whole deep learning set for our YOLO v5. So it, it's nothing, I mean, it's uh, uh, nothing to, too deep into getting into unless uh, we want to understand what neural networks are. We will go into that in a, a later video where we dive a little deeper into what neural networks is and how we can train and we make our own detectors. So uh, we, we take care of this, we use all this configuration and we come down here, we write our own custom information. So this is the one over here, which is printed. This is the original YOLO v5, the one which comes with YOLO v5. And the one below this very we say write template, this is our own configuration file. So it's giving out uh, information about the different uh, networks that we are interested in and what we want to use. So we, we take care of that. And once we have the configuration, once we have the data set from the top, and we have already the YOLO v5 
the whole requirement data set ready for us. So we are ready to train our, inf our data set. So coming down here, uh, we're just telling, uh, hey, Google, go into the Yolo v5 folder and start running this train.py file. And uh, you're running it on this image data set. And uh, you're going to be running on 10 epochs. So this is batch size of 16. This, this is just my thing about uh, telling this network uh, how, how often or how many times you are running your data uh, on a batch of 16, on a batch of 416. So it's it just was, uh, just giving the network uh, what, uh, how, you, how you should be running. Uh, this data.yml file, uh, this is uh, where our uh, initial, the original uh, coming from, Robo, we, Robo flow where it explains where the training data set and where the validation data set is present. This data.yml file holds that information. And then this configuration.cpfg, this is where the custom YOLO v5, our configuration file is present. And uh, I mean, right now you don't need to remember, but if you just go ahead and run this, I'm, I'm going for the sake of understanding what we're doing here. So it's, uh, we are just uh, giving the information where our custom files are, what you should be doing, or where, sh where you should be taking the data from and all that. Uh, this weights, uh, we don't, we're not writing anything right here because weights is something which we are interested in. This whole step is to create those weights file that can be used by our detector in the next step. So we are just uh, defining, okay, in the Yolo v5 results, that is where you want us to save all these weights file. So we, we have that, it will take a few seconds and uh, make sure you're running it on uh, GPU. So go on to the runtime and change runtime type, make sure it is on GPU and press save right here. So it, uh, it will use the uh, Google's GPU version. Coming down to the next step, well, once, it, once the training is done, once uh, all everything is done, we have the wait file ready for us. And if you go to this last page, last portion of this previous section, it'll give you that optimizer script from run. It's under the YOLO v5 results page, and you have the weights. There are two different weights. One is the last and one is the best. And the reason you have two is because uh, this training file is designed to save the weights file for every regular, there's a regular interval after which it keeps on saving the day of the weights file. And uh, every, new iteration is saved with a different name. So the best is uh, stating that, okay, this is the last and this is the best version that you can use. So you have, my apologies if um, there's a noise behind it, my furnace just started running, but uh, I'll, I'll try to wrap this up quickly for you. So the next step is to just to run the detector.py file, and this is responsible for detecting and running the, the data set and uh, doing our detection for us. So we have the weights file and we are saying the weights file is in the best folder. It is the right, the same folder. So you're saying that the weights file are present in this whole folder, or well, not the last version, but we are using the best version. So it's in this point, just copy this, copy this whole folder path and then take this and paste it here. So that's the same version that we have. It will be the same for your case also, but uh, in, just in case you're wondering where it's coming from. Uh, then you have the IMG, then you have the configuration. This is just to let the system know how did how we trained it. So you, you want to run the training and the, the detection also on the same set. And uh, the source is where the images are. So like the training set is there, like the tr testing set is there, we also have uh, like we have, sorry, we have like we have the validation, like we have the training set. We also have a testing data set, and this testing data set has a set of images in it, which we can use. Which I mean, which the network has never seen before. These are new images for the network, and these images would be run and then saved under the resource page, under the output resource page, and you are in this step displaying all the detections that you have had so far. So you're just uh, telling Google, hey, go into this folder, this content YOLO v5 inference output, and open all the image files that end with .jpg and display it here for us. So you're coming here, and if you write right here, if you see, it's able to detect everything, all the images, 
Well, you, you will see there are one-off cases where like this one particular case, it was not able to detect. But if you uh, try to understand, uh, yes, this is uh, error. This is not the perfect uh, thing, but uh, look at the images. Look at the amount of noise present in the images. Yes, this image is a very simple. Uh, it has a plain background and uh, there's not much of noise available in terms of computer vision for language, but uh, it ends able to detect it properly. But uh, you also have images like this, where it's too noisy, there's so much of color, there's so much of other information available, and there's good chance of erroneous results, but still this uh, detector is, uh, I mean, if, if it was something else other than the YOLO V5, we might have seen some other errors here. But uh, this bounding rectangle is perfect like that. There are many other images where it's very, very noisy and it's still able to detect the right information for that. So uh, that's that's about it. That's with this American Sign Language. So with that, we come to the conclusion of this video. And let me know what you guys feel about this and let me know what kind of other projects you want me to work on and what you are interested in. With that, you guys take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye.